What would you give up in order to have no cheating in online games? Bro, what kind of cheats are these? Oh my, oh god. my god! Look at how he moves around! Look at how he's looking around! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Task manager? Control delete. Oh my god. He's leveled up from level 1 to 19, just cheating, and hasn't been banned. Oh, he's dead. Oh Ricochet. And I mean, imagine if this ricochet anti-cheat doesn't work. Because cheaters are everywhere, and lobbies get beat up every time. A bunch of hackers. He'll be in the pro scene, in fact, or banned. What? Sucks the joy out of it. It's not fun yeah. anymore. He's recently banned for cheating at a LAN tournament. Puskaru. <laughs> Tim, can you comment and address the Z laner accusations? Whether he did cheat or he doesn't, there are still many people out there who think he's a legit cheater. If Shroud was actually a cheater, people are saying these guys are hacking when obviously they're just very good. Some of these accusations can be thrown around, can really impact people where them being good is the reason that people watch. Every eSport, every game out there does have false bans. Certainly, it is suspicious. Will we ever know the truth? To know for sure. Yeah that no one because that's that's the big problem right is the second there's reasonable doubt it like corrupts the entire experience Nineteen eighty-eight Seoul Olympics, hundred meter dash. Everyone ready and anticipating world record level running. Everyone's standing on the starting line, jacked out of their mind, jaws sticking out, braces, bro. Yeah, dude. I'm not juicing, I promise I'm not juicing. 9.79 world record shatter. Unbelievable levels of athleticism. Unbelievable! Gold medal for Canada until yeah, guess what? Ben Johnson stripped of his gold medal for testing positive of performance enhancing drugs. Urine sample of Ben Johnson was found to contain the metabolites of a banned substance. Actually, six of the eight guys that were running geared up, bro, injecting horse urine. Imagine being one of the two guys that was actually legit, like, Man, they were all so good. I didn't do too bad for not being on steroids. Either that or they were just so jacked up on Mountain Dew they couldn't provide a urine sample. They're just like, sorry, I haven't peed in months. I, I can't pee in that cup, sorry. Human decision making is oftentimes like water. It takes the fastest and easiest route to the bottom, the path of least resistance, the bottom being incentive, and the incentive usually being money. It's always money or one of the things that leads to money. And if you don't do it, someone else will beat you there. So you might as well join me or at least that's what your flesh might lead you to believe. But the truth always comes out one way or another. And on the horizon is war. The history of the gaming industry is about to be laid bare. Something is being developed, a program that goes beyond gaming, beyond this channel and beyond YouTube. With your help, light will be shed on subjects that have been debated for years. With the internet support, we will know and see See the truth about player versus player. I really like the steroids comparison to hacking in games today. Steroids like hacks come in all different shapes and sizes. You have many, many different compounds to choose from that all perform the same function of giving you a competitive edge. The technology for creating these compounds is researched much more than the technology for catching them due to incentive. How much more enticing is it for an athlete to gain an advantage and get power and money and fame. And then the testing facility is just like, oh yeah, if we catch someone, we've got to strip an Olympian of their medal and make a big deal out of it. They're just, they're like a Karen. It's a big Karen. While the people making the steroid, jack that, jack dude, mm, inhuman level of strength, jack. What are the incentives? Power, fame, money, all clear reasons an athlete might look for an edge. And the marginal difference between a top 1% athlete and complete irrelevance could be nullified by a PED. So if you're a top athlete, why not? Everyone else is probably doing it. Six out of the eight dudes in 1988 were doing it. With competitive gaming hacks, you have a similarly large number of choices when it comes to ways to gain an unfair advantage. Trigger bots, pixel bots, recoil macros, ESP, you name it. And more recently, hacks that powered by AI input to a computer from a separate piece of hardware, making them nearly impossible to detect by any realistic means. You probably at least got recommended the video. The comment section mentioned cloud gaming is a way to get around this. It's not, it's frame analysis. Doesn't matter where it's coming from, it's coming from the cloud of your own computer, doesn't matter. This type of tech won't be countered by AAA titles for a long time, a long time. Gaming also has similar incentives to being a professional athlete. Gaming hacks used to be short-lived bouts of enjoyment for some guy who just doesn't care anymore, and that was it. It's not that simple anymore. Gaming as an industry is growing exponentially. The incentives for being good at a video game used to be bragging rights to your buddies. Now it's a career, 
money, fame, and the amounts that you can get out of the industry are more and more each year. So you wanna be better at video games? You don't even have to put your health in jeopardy. Are you a top 10% gamer, but just not good enough to be pro? It's cheap, it's not illegal, you're in the safety of your own home. What have you got to lose? Might as well give it a shot, right? The entirety of punishment would be a slap on the wrist. Make another account, change your username and start over. When you have an incentive like this, without any consequences of cheating to get that incentive, what did we think would happen? Aside from just competitive play and fame, it's incredibly lucrative to sell hacks. It's a full on industry now to hack video games. It's, it's an industry within an industry. Not even just selling the hacks so people can use them, selling in-game items, currency. And then on top of that, we all as gamers make fun of people who claim someone's hacking, which, you know, a lot of times you're just trash and they were better than you, but it seems like you have two groups of people. You have one who's like, dang, there's so many people hacking now. I'm not, maybe just not getting worse. And then another group of people that are like, no, everything's fine. There's no hackers. You're just bad. Stop it. Dude, it just occurred to me. Those are probably the people that are hacking. They're like, yeah, I got a, I got a recoil macro and I know where everyone is. So you're just bad. <laughs> Whether you want to believe it or not, a huge amount of players are hacking. It's not just hacking, it's just to gain some sort of an advantage online. And that's not accounting for the new machine learning cheats that help you aim. And if you think those haven't taken off yet, there's Discord bots that go around and are automatically inviting people, if you're playing the game, to join the Discord and download the hacks for like $4. In my previous video, I talked about how that you gotta have two PCs and you gotta have a specific input device. You can make it all run on one PC, it's just slightly more detectable, but even then, right now, they're not detected. Tons of casual players are getting aim assist powered by AI with their graphics card. Just like extreme aim assist while you're playing with a mouse. And if you're even slightly careful, you just won't get caught, or at least for a long time. And then if they do, they just make a new username, download the game again. Even with my limited experience, it would be fairly simple to take like, like this keyboard and load onto it a file that when you plug it into a computer, these AI powered machine learning hacks just fire up headless on the computer and you can't see it. It doesn't show up on the screen. It's just an aggressive aim assist. Do you want aim assist on your mouse at your $500,000 LAN event with very, very low chances of getting caught? And I've heard anecdotally of the amount of hacking that actually happens at LAN events, the amount of cheating that goes on. I mean, if I'm capable, I know there's many, many more that are capable and willing and in a position to do that. The product of this quickly growing incentive with no consequence is a new rise of this moral free scummy market. It's human nature. Party to any weird, scummy, internet-based market is a team of thousands of weirdos on the internet. Because of this, hack and cheat development has quickly outpaced anti-cheat development. This has to be one of the few industries where for a couple bucks, you can dominate the elite top players of a game in their game, ruining all semblance of fun, competition, Activision, EA, etc. They'll catch up eventually. But if we want to exit the dark ages of FPS games, we have to take things into our own hands. Thousands of weirdos on the internet will always beat the corporation. There's no battle. There's lots of weirdos out there. The corporations only have so much money. Hacking in FPS games is no longer just a little bit of fun for some loser at home. For more and more people every day, this is their chance to make money playing video games. Point is, it's not just a game. And it's been a long, long time since it's been just a game. Imagine someone showing up to the Olympics and they're just absolutely stacked, dude. Clearly inhuman, HGH, like That wouldn't cut it, obviously. Similarly, imagine a pro at LAN aimbotting, just, just shooting everyone through the walls. Obviously that doesn't get them to the incentive. But see, cheating and hacking has been fine-tuned to fit the market. These AI machine learning cheats, they're, they're fitting this market of people that are good at video games, but want their aim to just be slightly better, all while being completely undetectable, for now. Or randomized recoil macros that, that just make you look like you're good at the game. Computerized assistance that just makes you better at the game, makes you look better. I mean, undoubtedly, it's more fun to watch competitors that are better at the game. But that's where the comparison of steroids ends. The argument of just let them use steroids is a great one, great argument. Without delving too much into that, it basically adds medical supremacy and medical advancement into the display of human excellence. But see, it still has a limit, the human limit. There's a certain amount of improved focus, improved muscle mass, improved physical ability that can actually happen. That's what makes that argument an argument at all. With hacking, it completely removes humanity. It's computer versus computer. I don't wanna watch that. I wanna play, you wanna play, I wanna watch someone else play. I wanna see that display of human excellence, not some cheap aim assist that's coming from the computer. And so that's what the market is right now. It's, 
It's cheats and hacks that you can deny you're even using if you're some psycho on the internet. You can just say, hey, I'm just really good at the game. They tell themselves they're not using any cheats or hacks and believe they're competing at the highest level. Trigger bots that make your reaction time in the top 1%, aim that puts you against professionals, and it goes unchecked. For how long? Until they win some LAN events? Until they're a full-time streamer? Until there's tens of thousands of people watching them? This market is transforming to fit this desire of performance-enhancing drugs for video games, which means the anti-cheat needs to transform as well. And here and now is where it transforms with your help. You see, I have one more comparison. A comparison that should send shivers down the spine of any person who's ever used computerized assistance and said, this is me displaying my expertise. Or any player who's ever cheated at LAN. Anyone who's ever closet hacked and put that on the internet should now be worried. In 2008 at the Beijing Olympics, athletes' urine samples were tested for a few chemical compounds that were prevalent at the time, but then stored and preserved. In 2016, they were retested with new and improved testing procedures. The IOC revealed that 31 unnamed athletes' urine samples tested positive for steroids that were previously deemed clean and fair. These athletes competed at the highest level while cheating and thought they got away with it. I'd like to submit to you the idea that every piece of gameplay footage on the internet is the urine sample. Every streamer, every YouTuber, every recorded LAN event has footage of gameplay. And every movement, every decision, every little bit of input into a game creates on-screen data. And the same way these new machine learning cheats analyze that gameplay data to assist someone, we're going to use to test the urine samples. We got their pee. Somebody had to do it. Warzone, new anti-cheat, that's cool, that's great. It's not enough, it's not even close, it's comedic. If a 14 year old can go on the internet with $4 and totally swindle your anti-cheat, it's not working. It's comedic and it's not working. Like a, like a billion dollar industry dented by some dude whose frontal lobe isn't even fully developed, not even close. Imagine your little brother can go in the other room, fire up his computer, and stream snipe the Olympics. I don't want to sound dramatic, but that's what this is. Homie just tripped Usain Bolt and then walked to Wiener Schnitzel after for a hot dog and some cheese fries. They call it using <laughs> using the chair. I was legit 3KD player before I started using the chair. <laughs> My goal is not to just spout you all this doom and gloom for clicks on the internet. I have a plan. A plan to fight the hacks. Just as the market is transformed, so will the anti-cheat right here. With the help of someone I met because they are a viewer of the channel, already in development is a program named Waldo. A completely open source visual anti-cheat that can determine from gameplay footage alone if someone's legit or machine assisted. In case your mind hasn't already flashed the implications before your eyes, I'll break it down for you. Once completed, Waldo will be able to analyze gameplay footage and use the same machine learning data from the new type of AI hacks to determine if the player in the footage is hacking or being assisted by a machine with extreme certainty. It will be able to detect if the recoil control or mouse movement is from a user, a human, or from a machine. All these streamers that are popping up that are just cracked out of their mind, just way better than everyone, will be able to determine if there's a little assistance behind that reaction time, I don't know, or assistance behind the aim. I'm not just talking about today or in the future either. There's accusations that go back way back. There's been conspiracy videos, things that really gained some traction. With this program, we'll be digging up the truth of the history of the gaming industry. The concept is that once it's completed, it functions as a website where anyone, you included, can upload a piece of gameplay footage. A bunch of data metrics are returned, and from that data, the server processes the likelihood of the user in the footage using a recoil macro, machine assist, anything. This would be released to the internet, to you, to use with any clip, from any point in time, from any creator. When you spectate someone and try to determine if they're cheating, you're trying to detect a pattern, a pattern that differs from what you know as human. This new market of cheats produces a pattern that you and I can't see, but a pattern that humans can't see, a well-trained machine can. Normal anti-cheat running on a user's system can always be lied to, even at a kernel level. This is why it's not possible to make this type of anti-cheat open source. If hackers have free access to how an anti-cheat works, it's immediately useless. 
useless. Waldo's significance is that it's visual, and looking at the end result, it cannot be lied to. It does not matter if hackers know how it works. Meaning a superior crowdsource anti-cheat is finally possible. And I need your help, whoever you are, right now. Join the war. We need programmers, people skilled in 3D tracking, computer graphics. We're also going to need lots of gameplay footage from every game. Join the Discord, go to the GitHub. All of the information on how you can help is available right now and in the description. A visual AI anti-cheat has never been attempted, but the science to show that it's possible is there. So now it's up to all of us to come together and make it happen. Every leap and bound this program makes will be credited back to the developer that made it happen, and Waldo will always remain free and open source. This project, the significance of it, is indisputable. This phase of the anti-cheat tackles the largest culprit of closet hacking, humanized aim assist. There's gameplay footage on the internet since the beginning of YouTube, since the beginning of Twitch. We have the urine samples we always have stored right here on the internet. This video marks the beginning, the declaration of war from you and I on cheating in FPS games in a way that it's never been done before. Phase two is coming soon. There are next steps that go even deeper after this step is complete. It's not just a game, it's war. And the internet always wins, but truth prevails.